What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy JP's Audio 08. And you can tell by the thumbnail that I got another update on the Grand Marquee for y'all. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on into it. So before we actually get to the uh, actual build part of the enclosure, I want to let y'all know that I picked up something a little special. It is the Audio Control DM608 uh, processor. Let me take it out real quick. So I'm very excited about it. Uh, right here, you got speaker level in, low level in, coaxial in, and optical in. So you have a lot of different ways to actually give signal to this but i also bought the uh acbt24 it's a high res bluetooth audio streamer and dsp programmer so what that basically means is that i can take my bluetooth streamer right here plug it into this optional port and then i'll be able to use the uh dsp and rta that's built inside of this dm608 and run that on my uh tablet so i can do all my tuning on the inside and since that is a high resolution audio streamer i should be able to bluetooth high res because i do have some flak files and i have amazon ultra hd so i get to actually choose whether i want my music to play regular hd ultra hd or dolby atmos as long as the uh person who's recorded the music has that option i get to actually choose that so i'm thinking about doing the tablet that way i can bluetooth high res into the streamer and then from the streamer to the dsp and then from the dsp coming out clean to the four channel amp and my sub amp i also have the acr3 which is a uh, remote level control so i'm not going to actually use this as a bass knob i'm use this as my main volume knob i'm pretty excited about this part right here but i know y'all want to see more build pics on the actual enclosure so let's go ahead and jump into it all right so this is the car right here uh everything stripped there goes the rear deck and the first thing we want to do is actually cut that rear deck out because by cutting the rear deck out we're able to actually maximize the cubic feet that we can gain for the enclosure because what i want to do is build a shell that way if i have to switch anything out then all i have to do is change my baffles up so there's the steel cage and i want to show you right here on this clip that he got all the way up to the freaking door seal so i won't even be able to put my rear doors back on that right there is a window because one of our wow factors is that you're going to be able to open up the rear doors and see inside the enclosure. So if you're not getting a demo from the front, you can open up the rear doors and actually see what's going on. Maybe see some motors moving, might have some lights in there. I don't really know just yet, but all in all, I'm excited. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I not lie. I want not budge I told y'all, them boys at Jakar Audio are not playing around with y'all. Hell, they ain't playing around with me. So now y'all see why I actually went with them, man. That's one, just one of the reasons why I wanted to rock with them. But either way, with cutting that rear deck out, we was able to get that uh, steel cage all the way to go to the back side of the window. Roughly, I think he said we got about 48 cubes. 48 cubic feet. That's a lot of airspace. More than enough that I need to be violent, windy, and musical. You know what I'm saying? 16, 16 10s, uh, 8 2100s. They have been on the amp dyno, so they're capable of doing 3481. Uh, so that's 3,481 watts. So that's roughly anywhere between 2,000 and 3,500 watts per amp. So 16K to shoot i don't know at least 24k rms so what's next on the list uh other than more enclosure updates we we'll probably I already know what batteries well i'm kind of kind of torn between what batteries that i want to actually go with uh but i know what alternator that i'm going to go with and i'm going to save that to the next video but i don't want to make this one too long just give me a quick update oh jpsider.com i did relaunch it last march so the merch is on there stickers t-shirts i haven't re-released the uh tune like a pro t-shirts yet uh but the jps audio t-shirts are definitely on there i got a couple sizes left and i'm thinking about coming out with another color but either way it's your boy JP signing out, man. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll catch y'all at the next car show, baby.